The skunk, one of North America's most recognized critters, thanks largely in part to its adaptation to urban life. Its distinctive white stripe strikes fear into those who cross its path. But one question remains. Does it fart? Doesn't the phrase stinky as a skunk come from the skunk having stinky farts? Well, we definitely know they can stink. But is that a stink or a fart? And where are we going to find a skunk? Follow me. We're going to the zoo. Hey, Isla. Where's Joey? Apparently, his dog got a little too close to one of these guys last night. That stinks. That's what I said. Well, here we have Brendan from the Toronto Zoo with his skunk, Hugo. Did you know that wild and city skunks have vastly different diets? So do different diets mean different farts? Wild skunks eat things like insects and berries, while city skunks gorge on household food. So even the moldy pizza Joey leaves in the fridge at the lab? Yes, even that pizza. I think we need to take a closer look and switch on the pungent understanding, AKA P-U. And now for the stinkometer. Check out those readings. Ugh. According to the P-U stinkometer, the city skunk's fart is stinkier. Well, that would be due to its poor diet. Skunks in the wild forage on berries and fruit, not leftover pizza. Those farts aren't the same oily substance that Joey's dog got sprayed with. Skunks have a separate gland which produces sticky, oily, stinky substance that they spray for defense. The scent they use for defense comes from this scent gland, located near their butt. The stinky substance they spray contains sulfur-heavy chemicals, including thiols. They also have muscles next to the gland which allow the skunk to spray up to three meters. I guess we could say that stinks in a gasification of its own. <laughs> And so it appears skunks do indeed fart. And though their fluffy floaters aren't as stinky as the pungent spray they use to defend themselves, it's neither an appetizing nor enjoyable aroma to inhale. Trust us, we are the fart experts after all. Uh -oh.